The highlight of the week, sponsored by Dave Frannick Auto. Looking for that first car for your son or daughter? Don't panic. See Dave Frannick. After a 30-minute lightning delay, Seneca jumps out to a 1-0 lead in this Group 2 clash against Sparta as Matt Southwick scores for the Golden Eagles early in the first quarter. The Golden Eagles then take a 3-0 lead here and watch Dylan Schulte, who had a monster game, make the nice spin move and he scores for Seneca, the number four seed, and they're off to a great start. But Sparta bounces back and the Spartans cut the deficit to one here as Jack Levecki scores his second straight goal and it's 3-2 Seneca. And the Spartans nodded up here, watch Colin Sullivan as he goes far post for the goal for the Spartans and we're all tied. The Spartans continue their run here, watch Tommy Keller make the nice dodge and then he unleashes this rocket and Sparta goes up 4-3 over Seneca. And then the Spartans take a 5-3 lead here, watch freshman Skylar Francisco on the run, he rips in this rocket and takes the hit, but he finds the back of the net and Sparta will eventually take a 6-3 lead after a wild first quarter. All right, second quarter we go and Seneca gets on a roll and the Golden Eagles go on a 3-0 run. And in the man up situation, it's Dylan Schulte with the terrific moves as he scores and we are tied at six. But Sparta will take a 7-6 lead at the half thanks to this blast from Colin Sullivan and Sparta has a one goal lead in this high scoring affair. All right, third quarter action and Seneca trails 8-7 but not for long as Tyler Schulte scores and he draws the penalty and this game is tied at eight. And on the ensuing man up, the Golden Eagles work the ball up top to Joey Pulowski, and he scores, and Seneca takes a 9-8 lead at the three quarters of play. Penalties killed Sparta all game. All right, fourth quarter action, Seneca takes control, and watch the great passing here as Tyler Schulte scores, and the Golden Eagles would go on to post a 12-8 win over the Spartans to advance to the Group 2 semifinals, where they will play top-seeded Somerville. I knew they had a good offense. I knew that they had a weak goalie. Um, we had to capitalize on that. You know, we were able to do it in the first half. I thought we were going to tack on even more, um, but unfortunately, we, we you know some calls didn't go our way. Hit some pipes. Um, you know, we weren't able to capitalize on the fact that you know they had a weak goalie. Um, but you know, in the end, the kids played hard. It was a good season all in all. Um, it was a good go today. Tough coming all the way down here. It really was the, it was the effort. They outground balled us. They outplayed us the whole time. We had them the first quarter, but then they just came back and outworked us. Part of that might be because we have such a small roster, but I mean, they just what it was today was ground balls. They just possessed the, out possessed the ball by I don't know, a lot. Right off the bat, Sparta found themselves down three nothing to the Golden Eagles, but battled back to score six straight goals. It's a young group, so it's hard to get them pumped up. But they came through. We just what we wanted was just have to run hard. That's all it is. You got to run hard and just shoot. Run hard and shoot. Coach Chris Pavona knows the seniors leaving is going to be tough, but he has a great future ahead, especially with all the numbers coming up for the Sparta program. Losing is always tough, but you know our program as a whole is, is definitely on the rise. Our, our youth programs are extremely strong. Um, you know, I've you know I've one junior next year, one senior next year, and I'll have 30 juniors and 25 sophomores, and probably another 25 freshmen coming in. So, you know, the next couple of years you'll see you'll see a lot from us. Um, you know, just getting. Lots of reps from a lot of young kids this year, a lot of freshmen playing. Um, it doesn't happen often in this area. Um, I felt like we, we were able to do a lot with what we had this year considering, you know, the youth. Uh, I don't think there's any other team in the, in the state that's probably starting sophomores and freshmen on, on defense and in goal. So, This senior group at Sparta, Paul Smith, Jack Levecki, Colin Sullivan, and Will McHugh have been a great part of this program. All these seniors out here, they're best, my best friends. I hang out with them every weekend. I love to play with them. They go hard every time, especially Will. I mean, he goes hard, and he, he may not put all the effort in as, as much. Well, not, not the effort. He just hasn't had the play as much as we have. But I play with, I mean, I play with Jack Levecki over the summers. I play with all of them, and I, I'm going to miss them a lot.